Hello guys, how you doing? Our Nas Giardo here. Right now we're gonna show you some tips about footwork. This is just simple, but yet effective. So let's go. <laughs> Alright, so the first one is the lean forward and step forward. Okay, so this is how you do it. That's it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lean in your left forward or your left shoulder if you're right-handed. Okay, so you're just gonna lean like this forward. Next, you're gonna shift the shuffle. You're gonna shift your foot like this way. First, second. Okay, third. I say <laughs> this is the first one. Lean, fix the right foot, and then boom. Okay. So this is how you do it. That's it. Let's go. All right. So the second one is almost the same like the first one, but would it have movement? Okay. It looks like this. When you're uh, in front of opponent, you're gonna do this. Boom, and you shuffle. Bam. I mean, head movement. All shuffle though. <laughs> shuffle all day. Just you're gonna wave about the punches. So the head movement looks like this. You're just gonna bend your knees like this and wave, wave, wave to the punches. All right. You don't have to do like this. This one, that's dangerous. You're gonna be hit on the back of your head, you know. So you're just gonna uh, bend yourself like this one, lower yourself, and you can see your punches. His punches, like this one. All right. So first, lean to your left, then with the weave. With your foot. Alright. You're gonna go to the left. Left forward. Like this one. Bam. Right. Bam. 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 The last part, you're gonna make it quick. Alright. Like this one. Alright. That's scary for the opponent. It's anytime you can throw a hook or the uppercut. Like this one. Also, you can do uppercut like this one. First one. Another one. All right, so the third one is called the hop in. Let's go. You're just gonna lift their opponent, but not like this, All right? Some of the opponents will lift like this one to throw the hook, and that's kind of awkward. So we're gonna do the hop in like this one. Like that one. Uh, so it's it's more likely to close the gap and throw some punches like this one. All right. So it's so quick for your opponent to step back. It's more likely uh, to cut him in that movement. All right. So, so again, I'm just gonna hop, make a footwork, add movement, and then hop in. Look at that. Look how smooth. And quick is that for your opponent? All right, so again, quick action. Jab. Oh, jab. Ha. All right, so the other side, do it in action. Just bounce. A little footwork, head movement, jump, footwork, pop in. Woo. Smooth. All right, so he's gonna hop in, make a bounce, I'll shuffle, I'll I'll forward, then close the gap. Look how quick it is, right? So this step is just simple. First, 
you're just gonna lean to your uh, left side like the first one lean or should I say lean like this one to your front with your left foot lean and then take off the right then hop bang left foot do this it's the one who's gonna make the pop right. first one to take off is the right and it's his also the first one to land this a lean hop brand and the left right a lean left take off the right foot half the left land the right foot land the left and you're gonna add the extra footwork footwork all right so so I do it right you can make it higher if you want so Ooh. so extra tip to the hop in you know you can touch your foot or your shoes to the hop you know like this one bounce oh close the distance just like that last one Oh, slick. All right, let's go. All right, so the next one is called the alley footwork. It's not the alley shuffle, but it's the alley footwork. It's more like the floating like a butterfly that he's saying. All right, so you're just, you're just gonna do this. Muhammad Ali is famous for this. To kill some time and to find his rhythm. You're just gonna do this, so simple. But it's deadly for the opponent where you jab. All right. This one. Just, they're just gonna dance around <laughs> like that. All the shovel is best, best for this. Yeah. Like this one. Just drop your hand. <laughs> Jab. Come on, Ollie. Let's go. Ollie, boom, bye. <laughs> Ollie's better than this. Like this one. Like. <laughs> we're just gonna do the football like that. We're just gonna bounce, 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 and bounce. This one. Bounce. Hop, hop, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> See that? It's just simple, but looks looks hard. You know, the first thing you have to do is like this one. If you're going to the left side, you're just gonna take off your right foot and just this one, and then jump, jump, and look at this, like this one. Whew. Right? Look at that. I hope you're getting me though. <laughs> like this one. Going to the left, right foot off, and bounce, bam, bam, bam. And footwork. Alright. Bam. Alright, so the next one is called Ali Shuffle, also an Ali movement, and it's more famous than the last one, okay? So it's, it looks like this, and it's more advanced, like the first ones. Alright, so it's look like this. It's look like that, but quicker. And you're just gonna pop that movement out of nowhere. You know, like, you're in a fight, just hopping like this, bang, bang, like that one. And also, when you're throwing a combination, then a counter, bang, 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 step back, alley, then bang, move like that. And also, you're gonna add this move to the last move earlier. Like, you're helping like a butterfly, bam. So you don't look like like you're resting, right? Because you're just gonna pull up the old shuffle. <laughs> like that one. And the crowd goes, ooh, he's not tired. It's just resting for the bigger one. Alright, so like this one. Bang. Like that one. And also you can do it throwing your combinations. Back, I'll shuffle, come back. All right, we're gonna practice it to make it more beautiful and perfect. So that's the Ollie shuffle, and I'm just gonna do this. I already have the uh, tutorial on Ollie shuffle, but it's just a short video, so I'm gonna link it here. I right, so yeah, just see it yourself. So you're just gonna make a straight form and 
just bend your knees, keep your toe. All right. So you're just gonna uh, move your left first or right first, whatever you want. So just move like this. Don't do this foot. Uh, almost make it a straight line like this one. So another one, just like this one. Uh, just gonna make it quick. Okay. So again, just make it straight forward. Bend your knees, tiptoe, and do the shuffle. Of course, you're gonna move your first foot front, and when you're gonna uh, pull it up, you're gonna make sure that the right foot moves forward. Like this one. Bam, bam. Like, you're not gonna do this like this ugly. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Alright, pretty much it. Alright, so we're almost done. The next one right now is the shifting the angles. Okay, so when you're uh, right-handed and also your opponent is right-handed, it means his front foot is here, back foot is here. All right, so your front foot is here, his back foot is here. All right, so see it. When you move forward like this, you're gonna move forward like that one. All right, you're gonna faint, you're gonna fake your movement like you're gonna forward like this. But no, you're gonna shift your angles, like this one, like this one, and you can throw your foot. Alright, so the stop is this one. First, we're gonna move your foot forward, back, like this one, like that one, yeah. and then shift. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man. Lock and load. Like this. First foot. Hop. Hop. Shift. Bang. Angles. Hop. Oh, I said the last one. It's called finishing wild. It's the finishing touches when your opponent is already dizzy, rock, or down. Alright, so. When you're waiting for your opponent to get up and he's being counted by the referee, you're like in a corner, like this one. You're just waiting for the opponent or waiting for the referee to continue the fight and you're just wild waiting, like you're ready to eat like a lion. <laughs> this is it. So when the referee says, let's go box, you're just gonna go like, you're gonna start, you're just gonna run like that. But of course you're gonna make your knee banded like this one. Also that's all guys, it's all simple but yeah effective. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helped you. So see you soon, God bless. I'ma make mine while you sit in there complaining. I'll be training while you sit in there just waiting. I'm creating. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable.